Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming out on such short notice. Um, uh, I wanted to uh, let everyone know some good news for South Central Kansas today. Uh, after a, a very long process with many, many Air Force bases all around the country uh, competing to be the place that the first set of brand new KC-46A tankers is stationed, uh, we learned today that Kansas did uh, very, very well in the competition. And while it's not over yet, this is truly good news for uh, not only Derby and McConnell Air Force Base, but all of South Central Kansas and indeed uh, our entire region. Uh, the Air Force announced uh, this afternoon, now uh, about two hours ago, uh, that they made a down selection, uh, the first selection process along a route to actually making the basing decision, uh, and McConnell Air Force Base and Forbes Airfield were both down selected. So to date, McConnell Air Force Base is competing to be both the primary training facility against Altus Air Force Base in Oklahoma, and is one of four finalists to be the what they're calling the Mobilization One, the first base for the new KC-46A tanker competing against three other bases uh, in North Dakota and in Washington State and then again Altus in Oklahoma. Uh, so we're one of four. Uh, I want to thank everyone who worked so hard to make this possible. A lot of them are in the room with me today. Um, the good folks here from Derby, Kansas, the mayor is with me. He'll speak in just a moment. Uh, but we've got representatives from the city council in Wichita and from the county commission. Uh, we've got folks from Friends of McConnell and the Wichita Chamber, um, all of whom have been an important component in this process. Uh, the Air Force looks at a lot of things. Let's be very clear. The most important thing the Air Force does is decide which of these bases is the one will best, best provide for America's national security needs. Uh, and McConnell's a great facility. Uh, it, uh, it's got great runways. It's got great people. Uh, it has, we have, as a community, taken care to make sure that every time McConnell Air Force Base had a need, whether it's for airspace or for traffic or all the things that a community can provide support to an Air Force Base, our community has done just that. Uh, we have also, as a group, I think done an excellent job of communicating to the Air Force how important uh, McConnell is to us and vice versa, how important our community can be to an Air Force that's trying to make sure that its families, its airmen, uh, the soldiers stationed at those air bases are, are part of a community that cares deeply about those people, uh, those human beings that do the great missions to keep our country safe. And I think today's decision to allow McConnell Air Force Base to be a finalist in two parts of the competition recognizes the great asset that McConnell Air Force Base uh, is to America and to America's national security. We had expected this decision to be a few weeks earlier, um, but we now know that the follow-on decision, the final decision, will be sometime either in the late spring or early summer if the Air Force can stay on its current schedule. Uh, we hope that they will. We hope they'll choose McConnell Air Force Base. Uh, the first tankers will begin arriving in the fleet sometime in 2016, so the first basing decision uh, will be made, the planes will be built, and they will start arriving at both the training center and then shortly thereafter at the first uh, uh, mobility air wing sometime in 2016, just, uh, just three short years away. Uh, it means a lot to our community. We'll have all those airmen here today, 3,000 strong in the active duty with uh, 17,000 plus, counting family members. Uh, we don't know how many people would come with that new uh, basing of tankers. Uh, we don't know if the KC-135 would stay here. Um, but we do know this. Uh, we do know that it will mean lots of jobs, lots of economic activity, and good things for us here in South Central Kansas. Uh, it would not be only in 2016. Uh, we've seen from the current tanker, uh, these are 50-year assets. <laughs> and so we could fully expect that if this is designated as one of the Air Force's true uh, mobility centers for its global reach, uh, that McConnell Air Force Base is in good shape to continue to be an important part of the Air Force's arsenal for decades and decades to come. Uh, so this is a big process. Know that uh, all the folks that are sitting here with me today and standing up beside me uh, with Mayor Avila, uh, we continue to work hard to convince the Air Force that McConnell Air Force Base is the right place and when they make their final decision uh, that it ought to be this great air base we're standing so close to today. I want to thank all of you for all your help along the way uh, to convince the Air Force this is the right place to put that next set of tankers. We'll, uh, we'll keep working at it. Hopefully in the spring and summer we'll be right back here. Uh, with a really great announcement and a firm date for the arrival of that great new KC-46 tanker. And with that, I'd like to let uh, Mayor say just a few words. Thank you, Congressman. Uh, I uh, stand here and uh, echo everything that the Congressman has said, but I think it goes a little deeper than that. It tells us what kind of community we have, 
uh, Wichita Derby and surrounding area and is credit to the people of this community that stand behind McConnell Air Force Base and will do anything it can to keep them here. And I think the key words that you said, not only is the tanker, but jobs. We need the jobs and when the tankers come, I'm sure we're going to have a, a better payroll out at, at McConnell, which will ripple through the community and that will create more jobs in this community and more tax base and everybody will be certainly a lot, lot happier. Thank you. Great. Uh, we're happy to take a few questions. Should anybody have any questions about today's decision or what we're all doing to try and make McConnell uh, that first base? Congressman, you've been pushing to get uh, McConnell on this list. Talk about why it really sets itself apart from the other bases. What do we have going for us here at McConnell that will make us a strong candidate for being a finalist? I'll give you three, three uh, options. First of all, we're in the middle of everything. <laughs> by the nature and our location here in Wichita, Kansas, and in South Central Kansas. Lots of training missions conducted all around America. Those planes are flying, and it's a great place to be refueled. And we can get any place in a couple of hours from here and put that tanker up in a circle and refuel all those training missions that are taking place all across uh, the nation. And indeed, we have a quick, relatively quick way to get to global theaters as well. We saw that in, when we were flying in support of the mission in Libya from here. Uh, the first folks to be called on were the soldiers and airmen at McConnell Air Force Base to get in theater, flying out of Spain uh, in support of the operation down in Libya. Uh, the second is uh, the Air Force and uh, a lot of folks who came before me um, did a good job of making sure that McConnell Air Force Base stayed current in terms of its runways and technology and all of the things that make it an appealing place for pilots uh, to perform their national security mission. So the facility itself is in very good condition and is uh, something that when the Air Force thinks about what's it going to cost to do ramp locations, to do maintenance, all the things that come with it, uh, there's lots of infrastructure here in Wichita, Kansas, because we are in fact the air capital of the world. Uh, you can get parts and people to do all that kind of thing here a lot quicker than you can in lots of other Air Force bases around the country. And finally, the one that the mayor spoke about, uh, this is a great community for those airmen to come live. Uh, these folks work hard and they put their life at risk. Uh, when they're home, they want to know that their kids are in good schools. They want to know that they're in a community where their kids can do sports or music or theater, whatever it is they want to do. And so the quality of life that this community has afforded uh, the Air Force folks that come uh, to South Central Kansas is extraordinary. And those are three good reasons I think we've gotten this far and why I'm optimistic uh, we'll make the down select as well. Well, just to follow up, can you also talk about what you will be doing along with other Kansas lawmakers in Washington to push those points a little bit and get us a little further along the line once we do get this final decision made? Ultimately, this decision is an Air Force decision about the uh, national security needs of the Air Force. How do they perform their global reach mission? This is an air transport mission where we're doing refueling and medical aerovac and the movement of equipment into theater around the world. So that is the most important component in their decision matrix, uh, something that we've worked pretty hard to understand the matrix to know what the Air Force is thinking. Um, all we can do in that context is talk to them about the asset here and make sure that they have a full, complete knowledge of what's going on. Uh, and then the last piece we can impact is we want to make sure that they know that this community uh, loves having McConnell Air Force Base here uh, and that it's prepared to not only treat them well the day those tankers arrive, but that we're a people that for the 20 and 30 years beyond that will continue to afford those folks. Uh, a great place to, to make their life. As they're rotating to these military bases, I hear it all the time from these airmen, uh, one of their favorite stops along the way was McConnell Air Force Base, and something we should be really proud of. How much, is there a difference between the two categories, just the like again, which is mobility, or is kind of maintain some? You know, we're, we're, we're finalists in both. We've been working, we've been working really hard, really on the mobility, to be the first active duty, full scale air mobility wing in the Air Force. Uh, Today we do some training out at McConnell, but less, uh, and so we didn't, I'm not confident that, uh, uh, that we thought we could get all the way to the finish line in the training component as well. Uh, but now that we have, uh, we're certainly going to continue to push. It would be a wonderful thing. We, we know we've got great pilot training, right? We've got all the FAA certification. There are lots of assets here in South Central Kansas that do make this an appealing place uh, for training as well. So we're going to go push for, for both of those, and then uh, it's not in the 4th Congressional District, but uh, I don't want to leave out Forbes Field as well. It matters here in Kansas as well. I'd love to see Forbes be successful uh, in their effort and the mobility too part of the competition also. Is, 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 is the mobility is that the requirements of the You know, I, I don't know the I don't know the answer to that. Uh, you'll have you'll have a more permanent 
uh, tanker fleet if, you, if the mobility one is the one that you've been selected to do. Having said that, you got to train for an awfully long time, and goodness knows how many years it will take to actually field the KC-46A tanker. Uh, you could have more tankers on the Yeah, you'll, you'll, have, you'll have more tankers on the field, on the ramp, if, mobility. for mobility than you will for the training. That's correct. Now, if they were to get the KC-46 in this era of BRAC, could it give McConnell Air Force Base some insurance for longevity? That's a great question. Uh, I, I think it is uh, that there are no promises that come with that kind of commitment, but a demonstration that in uh, the year 2013 and 2014, the Air Force was reinvesting in McConnell Air Force Base provides a uh, great, great, uh, uh, what's the right way to put it? It makes much less likely that McConnell will ever be threatened during a BRAC process. Uh, look, it, mean, it means that you're the t tanker center of the world, uh, and uh, not only of the United States Air Force, but truly of the world. Uh, that's the kind of asset, the kind of resource that once the Air Force makes that commitment, uh, anybody who's looking at an Air Force transformation, how to deal with bases and base closures in the future, uh, would put um, McConnell Air Force Base much closer to the back of the pack. And that's a, that'd be great news for us here for, for years and decades to come. If we get this, would it make sense to have training in Kansas at, at Forbes? You know, so Forbes wasn't down selected to be the primary training base. So there's two bases left to compete for that. There's, uh, I can't remember, it's, it's uh, Altus, Altus Air Force Base in Oklahoma and, and McConnell are the two bases uh, for their primary training that they've chosen. They will pick one of those two come this spring. Anybody else? All right, thank you very much for coming out this afternoon. I appreciate it.